Despite the contentious issues of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, UNRWA, and the nearly seven-year Syrian civil war, some good things are happening in the Middle East. Here's a story we've done about how Israel is saving lives and saving a child's heart. Meet Niaz. She's nearly two years old. She looks healthy, but without life-saving heart surgery, she wouldn't live for long. That diagnosis came from doctors who saw Niaz in the Syrian refugee camp, where war forced her to live. The decision to take her little girl to Israel was not an easy one for her mother. Due to fear of possible repercussion, we hid her identity. First, I was afraid of the thought of coming here. But after some thought and discussion with my husband, we decided it was worth it for the surgery. It was a perilous journey. Niaz and her mother fled the Syrian war zone to northern Iraq, then made their way through Jordan and into Israel for treatment. This opportunity is a result of the work of Shavet Hakim, which finds and helps at-risk kids throughout the Middle East. The Christian outreach group serves as a bridge between the Muslim world and the Jewish state. You know, we're grateful for the opportunity to, that the Lord has given us to, to partner, mm -hmm. to, to, be, to be that, that middle, to be those people who can go places that the Jewish doctors can't go, uh, people who can go places that the Muslim families can't go. We, are the, we have been granted uh, the opportunity mm -hmm. to go to all the corners of the world uh, and to bring, again, to bring a message of peace and of love. They work together with partners such as Save a Child's Heart and hospitals like the Wolfson Center in Tel Aviv. They provide life-saving surgery for children, often from places that consider Israel the enemy. Dr. Lior Sasson co-founded the program 20 years ago. Maybe people will call me naive, but uh, I think uh, uh, dealing with the Palestinians uh, and uh, people and uh, patients coming from enemies' countries, and they know what we did for their child. And it put everything in new perspective. It seems that we are not the monster that everybody wants to draw us. Uh, I think it's like trust-building okay. steps. When Niaz arrived, doctors gave her a grim prognosis. She already had damage to the lungs. This makes the surgery even more difficult, because it makes it... Uh, uh, with higher complication rates. As Niaz's mother prepared her little girl for surgery, doctors scrubbed up for an operation they knew would be challenging. <laughs> Niaz has a rare heart defect. She has a hole between her two major arteries. Right now, doctors are trying to close that hole, but it's complicated because the surgery ideally should have been done more than a year ago. The surgery took several hours required a team of surgeons, nurses, and technicians with state-of-the-art equipment. Shevet Akeem volunteers stayed with Niaz's mother as she waited and hoped for a miracle. It uh, seems successful. There was a big hole between the two arteries coming out from the aorta and the pulmonary artery. Following the surgery, a team worked on Niaz for days until they could analyze the full extent of the procedure. So what we see right now, what we saw in the echo following surgery, is although she came late, uh, the results were amazing. Care provided throughout the ordeal made a huge impact on Niaz's mother. For many, it's like a Middle East peace plan. We experience uh, fear, hesitation, uh, distrust even of the Israeli doctors, sometimes of us. And what, what is really a blessing is seeing that distrust turn to love uh, seeing the fear turn to confidence and, uh, and seeing these kids' lives saved and also seeing their parents and their families, their viewpoints radically changed for the good. Knowing that nobody else would do it and the patient will die if we will not be uh, doing the surgeries and to see the patients recovering, it's uh, beyond any, any description. Nia survived her surgery and headed back to Syria with a new heart. I'm very happy. I'm very glad. I thank all the Jewish doctors that treated our daughter, and I got good treatment from all the staff here, and also Shavat Akim, who brought us here to the hospital. She goes home with a scar that will serve as a reminder of a much brighter future. Uh, she will have a normal life. Uh, she will have, and she will. Uh, she can do sports. 
If her genetics is, then she can go to the Olympics, she can get married and have children. She can go to university first. She, became, she can, uh, can become a doctor, whatever. Her prognosis right now is that of a, of a normal child. Hmm. What would have happened if she didn't have the surgery? She would have died. She would have died in infancy, not in, in adolescence or in adult. She would have died in infancy.